Alright, so guys, I really wanted to share this with you. It's really a big part of my life. I used to hate reading. To me, it was just an extra chore, basically, until I found this series. It's the Tales of Arkin series. There are five books total so far, and these books are really hard to get away from. They're really great. They really pull you in, and you'll find that you can't stop reading them. So these books have really changed my life to so stick around and see if they'll change your life too. Alright guys, so like I said, today we're going to be talking about the Tales of Larkin series, and these are written and illustrated by Alan Harris. I thought it was really cool that he writes and illustrates and publishes his own books. I think that is really cool and really interesting way to do things. We're just going to kind of go as things come. First off, I guess we'll just start off with um, how he sets these up. They are fiction but they have many references to the Bible and to the story of Jesus. The author does a really good job of describing these people, and I'm sorry I forgot to mention that this is based on a one inch tall race of people and how they survive the trials of just daily life. He gives great detail and description on what they're wearing, what their weapons are, um, what they look like, and how they come to know Jesus and things like that. All right, so the first book in the series is Hawthorne's Discovery, and it's about a young man named Hawthorne who is finally old enough to start his training and go on his first hunt. The hunt kind of turns for him, though, as they're raided by their enemies, the Renegades, and Hawthorne is taken captive. I think this book shows really great adventure and camaraderie because I mean, his fellow Larkin hunters, I mean, they strive to come rescue him, and that one is really good, really good book. The second book in a series is, goes back in the past, and I forgot to mention, that's how he does it. He goes present, past, present, past, present. And so I think that's interesting, and it kind of puts a twist in it. The second book in the series is Larkin's Journal, and like I said, this book is back in the past, and this is how uh, Lark the Larkin clan started. It's a really great book. It, it tells about the life of Larkin himself, and it's got just a touch of romance in it, so that kind of gives things a little excited, makes things exciting. The third book is The Great Gathering, and we're once back in the present with Hawthorne and his friends, and this is about a great gathering that they have. Uh, I think it's each year, and, um, Hawthorne is going to it this year, and it, it's really interesting. Book four, we're back in the past, and this is personally my favorite out of all of them. It's called Mostar and Belladonna. I really don't want to spoil anything, and everything's so excited that I can't really tell about anything. So, sorry about that, but. <laughs> Book five is Fiery Trials, and we're once more in the present with Hawthorne and his friends, and this book does a really good job of showing um, how they have to have faith in the Lord daily. And this book is just really good and it really brings you closer to the Lord. I would also like to add that these, book ha these books have no vulgar content in them, so they're pretty much fit for anyone who has the ability to read them. Uh, I highly recommend these books for anyone and you can purchase them at uh, storieschangehearts.com. And I forgot to mention book four and five both have questions at the end on each chapter. So something that interested me a lot, it shows it in the back of Hawthorne's discovery about the author. It shows that he started out, uh, he wrote these little stories and told them to his kids. And they'd ask, well, what happens next, Dad? And so he kept writing them, hoping that they would bring them closer to Jesus. And uh, that's where his books came from, and so I thought that was really interesting. So I really just wanted to share that with you guys. Um, I hope this review was helpful. Uh, Mr. Harris has really changed my life a lot, and I hope he keeps writing books for as long as he can. And so, like I said, I hope these books will change your life as much as they've changed mine. And so, like, subscribe, comment, and share, and stay safe and be home in time for supper.